Hello, my learners. My name is Teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, Grade 4, Science and Technology, our strand for today is environment, substrand is water pollution, and on water pollution we'll look at safety measures or safety precautions to observe when working in a water polluted environment. Safety measures or precautions to observe when working in water polluted environment. And I would like us to brainstorm on some of the ways or what do we use, what do we need when we are working in water polluted environment. What do we need in pairs? Can you brainstorm what we need when working in water polluted environment? What we need? What do we need when we are, when we are working in water polluted environment? Yes, Jane. She, Jane has said we should need, or we need, gloves. Why do we need gloves? That is very correct. Remember, gloves, and make sure the gloves are not leaking. Water is not end, entering into your hands. The dirty, remember you're working in dirty water, water that is contaminated, water that is polluted. So the water should not come into direct contact with your hands. So we wear gloves to protect our hands. That is very correct. From John's group, what have we discussed also we need when we are working in water polluted environments? He has said we need to wear a mask. Mask is also a requirement, that is correct. Mask, why do we wear a mask? Remember the areas or the environment we are working? The water is as that bad smell, the foul smell, it is smelly. So we need mask. Mask, remember when we are learning on air pollution, we said for so that, that false smell may not enter into our mouth, into our body, through our nose, we wear mask. That is very correct. Who else can tell us what we wear? Victoria, what do we require when you are working in water polluted environment? Gumboots, that is very correct. Gumboots. Why do we require gumboots? Gumboots so that dirty water may not come into contact with our feet. Remember, dirty water is prone to waterborne diseases. Dirty water is prone to waterborne diseases like bilharzia, dysentery. So, to protect ourselves, we should always endeavor to wear gumboots. Remember, we are still working there, so if you are working, what else do you need? John, you need a shovel, a shovel, shovel or a spade, it will help to scoop mud that is stuck in the water stream or the water flow channels. And then the last one from Wangari, jembe. We need also jembes. The jembes will help a lot in digging to make sure the water flows very smoothly. These are some of the materials that we need, all the requirements, items that we need when you are working in water polluted environment. Now, measures to observe. What are the measures to observe? What are the precaution measures to observe? Observe the following measures. From what we have discussed here, we need in our groups now, can we Unpack more on this. Why do we use gloves? Why do we use mask, gumboots, shovel, among others? Yes, John. John has reminded us we should not touch that dirty water with our hands. So, do not touch dirty water with your hands. Do not touch dirty water. Dirty water with your hands. with bare hands. Remember, we said when that water comes to our hands or in contact with our hands, it may lead to infection. Instead, what should we wear? We should wear gloves. Wear gloves. Number two, Victoria, you can remind us what have you discussed from your group that you should always wear gumboots. Why are you wearing gumboots? 
to prevent yourself from waterborne diseases where gambuts where gambuts and these gambuts are preventing our feet from direct contact with the contaminated water where gambuts to prevent direct contact to prevent direct contact of our feet with dirty water why are we doing this remember the dirty water when we step on it or oh, it comes direct to our feet the waterborne diseases and those that causes diseases like bilharzia those are the snails may be in or present in that water and now we may develop those illnesses or diseases like water like bilharzia which are as a result of direct conduct with this so always we should endeavor to wear gumboots from tom's group what have you discussed we should not drink dirty water do not drink dirty water do not drink dirty water do not drink dirty water and in our previous lessons we said always take or drink clean water boiled water or treated water because not all clean water is safe for drinking what else have you discussed class john what else have you discussed that we should use shovel to dig that is correct use shovel shovel and jambes we use shovel and jambes to dig and scoop mud blocking the pathway mud blocking waterways mud blocking waterways that is the essence of using or using shovel and jambes shovels and jambes and then the last one we should observe always wear mask always wear mask remember we have said the work of the mask from the foul smell for us not to smell in the foul smell or to breathe in the foul smell these are some of the measures we should observe do not touch dirty water with bare hands instead wear gloves always wear gumboots to prevent direct contact of our feet with dirty water and then we should not drink dirty water remember dirty water is not safe for drinking neither clean water but boiled and treated water and then lastly we should always wear a mask to prevent the bad smell into our body then activity for us for today an activity for us today an activity that we should embark on an activity kindly request your parents to assist you with his or her gadget phone tablet or the laptop with an internet google for more photos showing the importance of water kindly as a group after that make a colorful colorful picture on a manila paper eliminating us on the importance of clean water and then stick it on our notice board importance of clean water and stick it on our notice board and that marks the end of our lesson for today have a wonderful time